Dear Lord, the CGI last episode was horrendous. Not even just CGI existing, but the transition from 2D to CGI, it's just so jarring. It just like loses all immersion. That's one negative aspect. The positive aspect of last episode, main character is looking at Chad. I thought I got cooked. First time he had me, I genuinely didn't think that he was acting. I'm like, wow, he really is that this, this much of a bitch. Like, we're going to take a long time to even get there. I thought the blonde elf looking girl would come in and save him. But nah, it was an act. And he said, call the police, but not for me. And then he took out Soul Eater and just, we're going to see like the more sinister dark side of him that was developed through the childhood trauma that he had with his dad. Now we're out of the labyrinth. We've gotten crazy powers. We've gotten crazy even like items, like forbidden skills and forbidden arts or something, we should be making out of the labyrinth and then find your classmates. So let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Already? Oh, Not a CJ yeah. monster? Oh no! <laughs> Yo, what happened? Why are they not putting CGI on the wolf and the monster here? Is there a rule of like CGI only when it's dark in the labyrinth? Outside in the sunlight, we can't afford it. We can't afford it as in it'll be too obvious. I don't know. They, anytime people use CGI, it seems like they try to like even strongest mage this season. They have a thing where it's just like they make it really dark and then to try to hide the CGI with it. Who knows? In the daylight, maybe it's too obvious and it looks too bad. So they're like, nah, 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 nah. We got to actually animate this shit. <laughs> He ain't my big bro, man. I thought he was cool. Not my guy anymore. What level are we? We're in the triple digits. We might be 1,000 plus. I'm not sure. They're at 18? Well, we've been farming. Like, we've been heavily farming in, like, the most endgame place, right? So it makes sense. But, like, damn. The difference of level is not even... It's not even close. The school shooter. <laughs> the girls are getting bullied too? What's going on? Oh, oh okay. Then 70% of the girls in class will ostracize you. Interesting how you know exactly the number of people that's on your side. So I'm gonna assume 70% of the girls are like, I don't know, this is like, remember, the school's like partitioned into different groups of like, you got the elites who are like super fucking evil, then you have like the neutral group who was saving, you know, the rom-com girl after she got hit by the goddess. I don't know, it seems like, you know, the girl on the left, the elite side, on the right, probably the neutral side. Reading? What kind of powers you have? <laughs> For sure. I mean, it already distinct factions are already forming, right? And like, people are gonna want to band with like the strong people. People are gonna be elitist, even more elitist than now. The power trip is gonna be insane. <laughs> Not sure who Ayaka is, but Takao sisters, right? The Takao sisters are the super base girls that I had high hopes for, and they did meet my expectations in episode one. They were the what few people that was like, yep, this class full of just despicable, despicable scum. So right now, it's like she's going around collecting all the D-class trash because she herself knows that she can't make it up to the higher factions. So this is like tier two, tier three people collecting each other. Ayaka <laughs> どうせ。それってどういう分かんないか。とにかく、いいよ。いや、ホシュラ。バイによってはね。タイマテとかいうの倒せて、元の請求したけ。よよ、ウォーダーハンドゴイング。クラスで貸し。能力は低くてもいざ
She did it. Ooh. Nah, Lil Pigeon needs to run away from here, man. She needs to fly away. Interesting that the perspective is shifting to her, though, all of a sudden. Stray cat? Dead on the road? And the Mimori helping the cat? Ha! Huh, all of a sudden? I thought I thought only the rom com girl might be into Mimori, but no, we got another girl watching Mimori. Okay, okay. You got two potential love interests one sided. Oh, who this? Rom com girl. <laughs> Yeah, that was the craziest shit, bro. Like, they got us through hands. Like, it's even crazier that she blocked the first attack. That was genuinely impressive. So I was like, oh, she has some martial arts background. But then she was like, this bitch, she just <laughs> went for a fucking another one, bro. It's actually so good. Yo, why is there so many retards showing up as first time chatters? Why am I asking? Why am I watching Failer Frame? What do you think I'm watching Failure from Retards? It's fucking three weeks in. Have you not looked at the fucking channel? It's performing great. Why am I as an anime reaction channel that's been watching Failure Frame since week one and still watching Failure Frame? What kind of fucking question is that? Sometimes I genuinely wonder like how, like what kind of person you are. Like you gotta be the dumbest motherfucker to be asking these questions. Thank you, Corny, for the gift of sub. <laughs> Bitch, you punched her. You literally punched her in the stomach and made her pass out. When she was like saying, this is messed up. What do you mean? How are you going to put up this act right now? No one is listening to you. You punched her in the stomach! This acting from the goddess, man. So the test is, go out and kill a monster. If you can, you're qualified. If not, what does it mean take their leave? You're not sending them back home. You're sending them into the fucking dungeon? That's your pulse. You're the goddess. <laughs> okay. You you can't just go from sobbing and laughing into suddenly laughing and mocking her. Like this lady, like you need to be consistent. You were just sobbing now, saying you can't do anything. Then suddenly you're like. <laughs> <laughs> Monkeys have opinions too. <laughs> okay. She needs to also go through a test, right? Okay. She's gonna be cracked, man. <laughs> yeah, I do apologize for not once but twice. She hit her twice. She blocked the first one. It was like, what the fuck, bitch? And knocked her out. And, th and that was the entire time when Mimori Toka was getting sent to the dungeon. She was voicing her opinion. So who would believe you? <laughs> Settle the hysterics. <laughs> Even the hand grip. E e even the hand grip here, it's a little loud to make it seem like the goddess is like, you annoying little bitch, take a little fucking a uh, little handshake. <laughs> cold hands. It was cold? <laughs> Does that mean anything? Cold hands during the handshake. I thought she was gripping extra hard just to be a little bit more mean, but it's cold. Why would her hands be... Is, I, 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 I don't think it's anything like actually the body temperature. I think it's like she is a cold woman. That's probably the meaning of that. I'm, that's my head can. <laughs> right? It's the elf girl. There was a party chasing her. Okay, she's on the run. It's a sword well, guy. You tell me this dude is the sword god? Maget Braden. Sword god? 
No way. I don't believe it. That's a self-proclaimed title. Superior pressure. What are you doing? Moving your hips like that? The foreplay is just getting started. Hey, Yashi, this guy, this demon is down bad. Yo, look at that motion. The bang, Zarashi. Okay. Holy watchers. Status open. Level 1,789. E-class hero still. Our mana is insane. All the other stats, pretty, uh, like, one-to-one -one ratio, right? Everything is 5, 3, 6, 7. But the mana, bro, god damn. And now, like, the, the quote-unquote giga chat of the classroom, the quiet one in the back of the bus that stopped the fight, that, the one that I called Big Bro, but he wasn't my Big Bro, he's 18. There is no way anyone's gonna come even close. Now, I wonder how much this E-class or S-class is gonna impact, right? Like, I, I really wonder, like, how different is an E-class 1789 versus an S-class 18? I'm not sure. A blade? Ken. Elf girl. It's simple. This episode will be Toka fucking saving the elf girl who's on the run from the Holy Watchers. Easy. Slimes! Yo, the big slimes are bullying the little slime. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! They're bullying this guy! Come on, little buddy. Don't give up! Oh! Let's go, little slime! <laughs> Bro is literally living through the slime right now. He's like, yeah, you're me, and I'm you. You can do this! Paradise. Poison. Non-lethal poison. Cool. Beep, beep, beep! Say something else! Acquire. Acquire. Anyways, yeah, why is there Western playing, Western music playing right now? I have no clue. Heroic blood hunt? Alright, we're friends. Forbidden skills as well. The forbidden art specifically enhances slimes? Oh. That's how we're gonna make the slime OP. Okay. No. Make it into a super slime. He changes colors. Green, yes. Red, no. What? What did you just call it? Piggy Maru. Maru is basically default, you know, ending of a name. But Piggy? Piggy Maru? Not Slimy Maru? You gonna call him Piggy Maru? This, what, what a bottom look like a pig? Because he's been saying P the entire time. P, P, P. I don't know, man. 
まあ一応異議の申し立ては受け付けるが近所に近術女神をぶっ潰せるならどんな手も使わせるか Alright, where's the elf? Jury of Sizzle, the kid. Yahari Frikin. Scarly Maseka. Oh, whatever, not so much. Say, Skinner, the son of the Tatsu Sasak. My eyes are somewhere completely different right now. <laughs> It's hard to focus. <laughs> Damn. Whoa, she got that visor on now. All of a sudden, looking futuristic. Shingozu. Is this an act? Yeah, this is an act. This is an I will not fall for it. No, 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 no. He's acting like, oh, who is there? Oh, you don't hurt. No, no, it's a bait. It's a bait. Don't fall for the act. No, 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 no. I'm not falling for it this time. No, 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 no. no. I love how his name is actually Maggots, which could be like the same as like Maggots, bro. Like, even the pronunciation Maggots. Yeah, Maggots, stop it. The nice thing about men is that there's no wasting time enjoying them first. Because he was making the hip motion before with the girls, say, like, you know, where's the foreplay at? And now he's saying there's no wasting time in doing the He's talking about killing the dude, right? Right? We're talking about killing we're, we're not talking about anything else other, right? Is he is is he down for Toka as well? <laughs> okay, he doesn't wanna. He doesn't he he doesn't wanna do the deed. That's what he's saying, right? It's this is the creepiest dude. Not much fun in abusing him before we kill it. Is. <laughs> These dudes are all trash. What? They're comically trash. Let's drag our girl around for half a year while we have fun breaking it. Half a year? They tried it. They tried it before. Bro, these guys suck. He's still doing the fucking motion, bro. <laughs> He's still fucking humping the air. <laughs> Stop it. Stop doing that. Last time we saw shit like this, it was Gobji from Remaster. Yeah. Who paid for it? Yeah. <laughs> Please don't understand me. I'm not going to to I'm down. Eye for an eye. Yes, I love this. Poison. Off screens. Kanji Totterka. Ah, Wakatu. Chikakuni Mohitori. So I. What was that? The sweat coming down on her blade just like cracked. But I guess the sequence event was they were chasing her and she was running and running. And then once she decided to, you know, change and henshin, by that time, Toka already intercepted the guys and that's why they were like handling that shit and she was farther ahead. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> See, she had tree and brushes. <laughs> the spirits are frightened of it? <laughs> The spirits? Paralyze! Piggy Bottom! 
どうもあんたの殺意には不純物が混じっていてな。What? そこが気にかかった。They always do this shit. As soon as people turn around, they always CGI. Right? As soon as you can't see the face in the back of the head, CGI immediately. 動きの方は保険として封じさせてもらったの。な、何か目的でな。俺はこの辺りの人間じゃないから、この辺りの常識も欠如しているんだが。四人は。They did. あいつらはあんたの仲間か。妙な動きをしたらその時点でまたスキルパラライズの重ね掛けは不可能だ。Can't stack paralyze。わかったな。Can。動かしていいのは口だから。<笑>悪いが俺はあんたをまだ蹴る。あ、she could literally try moving her hand, but it, it was the threat anyways. Okay, you only your mouth can move. That's right. What that mouth do, girl? 口だけだ。悪いが俺はあんたをまだ警戒している。ここへたどり着くまでにいろいろできない。I think we can trust her, man. Yeah, they did. Ooh. Oh, we got a slime. Hikimaru. Yeah. All she has to do is move a little bit. She's just holding this fucking pose right now. Oh. Don't pry into my life. Okay, hold up. Geography, geography, geography. Different continent. Forest in the South Kingdom of Ulza. Arion is the kingdom of Arion. Different kingdoms. We're not in the goddess's kingdom. The labyrinth is somewhere different. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm glad that they skipped this, right? Look at this. The bar, yellow, and then boom. They just skipped all that shit. I, I honestly, better that way. Mana? No, this is the paralyzed, you know, duration. The fact that it skipped this much means that they had a long conversation. Forbidden. Can you read it? Can you read it? Alright, we're out. Bye. Useless. No, no, we're gonna keep her. Right? In the opening, I already showed her. The elf girl is very important, right? We're gonna keep her. Wonder who's gonna be the one to decipher the scrolls, though. Okay, okay. The Witch of Taboos. I hope the Witch is a milf. Golden Eyed Monster. Different place, I guess, yeah. Then you travel with us, come on. Yes. Yeah, she's very noble. Alright, we fucking her ants in a different world, baby. See, 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 as soon as they turn around. Every time. Just, just keep noticing that as soon as they turn around, that CGI. Walking animation. It's so funny how she's still like. Piggy! That's right, only for vengeance. Only for Peach. Only for scumbags. See, see, see? Turn around, this EI! It's such an interesting Western Wild West soundtrack every time, bro. I don't know. Post credit scene. Paladin of Nea, which got wiped out by Bako. So clearly they're talking about the elf. Nea might be related to the Pope and whatever princess, you know, in the ending visuals. Who knows? Princess of an old half elf nation. Ew. Stop it. Ew. Stop it. Serasu Ashrain. Wait, have we heard the last name Ashrain before? Why does it seem a bit familiar? Ashrain. It's not the guy 
Ashfang was not the name of the mage before, right? No, I'm crazy. It's different. It's different. It's a totally new last name. No, 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 no. And that's today's episode of Failure Frame. And what was happening today? We got more of like, I like this. You know what? Like, I'm not sure if people enjoy the perspective changing from the main character to the rest of the class, but genuinely, I did enjoy a lot whenever, like, even in Ari Fureta or Kumo Deska, whenever they pivoted from, you know, Hajime or Kumo to, like, the other class and see what they're doing, I did really enjoy it. So, like, what's going on here? Basically, there's, like, different factions forming. People are power tripping. Everyone's trying to find allies. And the heroes are sent off to the forest to kill a monster. And that's their test. And if they can't pass, you get called by the goddess. Oh, boo-hoo. It's not my fault. It's Adion's rule. She cap. The goddess is so bad at acting, man. So, this girl, terrible girl on the left. The girl on the right, though, she actually has feelings for Toka. Well, I'm not sure feelings, but she saw him save a cat. And she saw how brave he was there and... I don't know. Now there's potentially two love interests for Toka, assuming that, you know, this girl Sogu is also a love interest. The goddess acting is just like, girl, no one's gonna believe your crocodile tears. If you're gonna cry, 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 and then suddenly make a smug remark, say, oh, monkeys can have opinions too. And like, she made the comment that her hands are very cold. Now, in a literal sense, this could be like, she's a zombie, she's a vampire, she's an undead, I'm not sure. In the other metaphorical sense, it's like, damn, what a cold bitch. Like, she is ruthless. Who knows exactly which one that is. The elf is a half-elf princess. And she's on the run right now. There's a bunch of shit happening. Bounty posters. Things are looking bad. She's clearly an outcast too. So like, we are definitely going to recruit her. And no doubt that we're going to be, use, be using her to fight. Because we needed like a front line. We specifically said we need someone with a blade. And she knows people that can read the Forbidden Arts as well. And the slime as well. Piggy Maru, Right? The Forbidden Arts is going to make Piggy Maru even better. So these are like the allies that we're forming while the others, you know other kids side that they're forming their allies to but the level difference we are like 1700 something these dudes aren't even breaking level 20 granted they're s rank and who knows if s rank at lower levels is still higher quality than e rank at higher levels i'm not sure but at this rate it's gonna be a one-sided massacre no one's gonna be able to you know break free of paralyzed maybe there will be some people that can cleanse and you know cast immunity but i cannot wait for the reunion to happen but who knows well that's it for me if you're still here if you did enjoy this reaction, though, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.